Hello there, it's been a while since I posted a top project video and I have my top artificial intelligence projects this time around with TensorFlow. So AI projects with TensorFlow and I've selected some interesting projects here. Let's uh, go through them. Guess what this is? A game? No, it's not a game. A pattern? Yeah, kind of. It's a pattern, but really it is uh, these, let me just take my highlighter here. So uh, where is my pen? There you go. Okay, so this one here is a map of uh, plant beds and scanned by a robot uh, powered by TensorFlow. And obviously you see these cameras, vehicle navigation camera, a plant disease camera, and an outside camera. So this, this is what is interesting, the plant disease. So this robot with uh, TensorFlow can scan through uh, leaves and plant beds and uh, classify them uh, and uh, mark them as whether these plants are healthy or not. So this is uh, pretty cool. You see these statuses here, healthy, dry, red, diseased, and blue unknown. So uh, this is pretty interesting. It's a small device, small robot. I don't know if you can see that here, uh, which goes ahead and scans these uh, plant beds. So it's called FarmAid. It's an interesting project. You can Google that up. I'll, I will also post these projects on pathway.ai. So if you don't know where pathway.ai uh, domain, pathway.ai. So there should be a page there with all these projects. So that's my number one project. Number two is site. So this is a smart glass, this one you see here, it's a smart glass. Um, and it's uh, obviously not super elegant right now. I think the project is still in progress, but um, is connected to a Raspberry Pi device and has a Android um, uh, IoT type device along with it. So basically what you do is you click this button over here and it'll scan that uh, image, it'll just scan whatever this glass sees in front of you. And it's meant for people with visual disability, people with who are close to blind or actually blind. They can scan this, what's in front of them, and it'll come back and tell you what it is that that voice a device will come back and tell you that, you know, maybe it's a car or a big tree right in front of you. So that's uh, pretty practical. Uh, it's a project, again, powered by TensorFlow. Again, a cool project there. Let's go to number three. Number three, it's number three just because I don't know why. I mean, I love animals, don't get me wrong, but uh, let's go, uh, let's understand what this uh, does. It's again, powered by TensorFlow, but it's, uh, it's a project which is uh, deployed in Kenya. And what it does is it has, again, a camera-based Raspberry device uh, other software, but primarily TensorFlow again. And uh, what it does, it scans the environment. So it's a, let's say it's a camera sitting here. It scans the environment, look for animals. And if it sees poachers or humans with guns, it starts alerting, um, alerting uh, the uh, cloud, I guess. It passes that information over. And then there's a group of volunteers and, um, you know, the, the wildlife uh, agencies and organizations which will uh, take that information and do what they have to do, send people over, you know, protect these animals. So great project supporting wild uh, wildlife called Wild Eye. Again, I will put that on the site, pathway.ai. Let's go to the next one. This is a commercial project, but I'll explain why I think it's pretty cool. Uh, one is uh, Coke has made it super easy, Coke as in Coca-Cola, has it made it super easy to scan a product cap so you don't have to worry about uh, you know your receipts and all that and you don't have to keep your receipts in your wallet for a very long time or you know find that code it's inside the cap itself and obviously as you uh, if you remember or if you've looked closely at those soda caps plastic caps or biodegradable caps uh, it's hard to read these numbers so it scans it, you have an app, it scans it, and obviously using machine learning and a neural network, it um, opens up the app and says, hey, you got uh, points or you have joined a team and you can continue engaging with that mobile app. So that's powerful. And the reason why I call it powerful is now 
what's happening is a lot of these consumer product companies are packaging these products with more eco-friendly packaging. So now if you want to incentivize them, it's very hard to do that. So you can make sure you, uh, especially with these kind of caps, uh, you can scan that quickly and incentivize, you know, give these consumers a discount for buying healthy products, uh, environmental, environmental friendly products. So uh, environment friendly products, I guess, right? And uh, it makes it easier so that they don't have to fumble around, don't have to worry about receipts and it's all there. Uh, in terms of identification, right? So much more faster product identification, whether it's uh, whether it's a game you want to play or you want to incentivize consumers. Great, fast way to do this. Okay, number six, last one. It's kind of you know, not uh, talked about much, but I like the practical use of uh, this project, and this project is called Touch Free. So it's not really a, a tablet. So uh, what he's figured out, it's a uh, modified tablet i guess but he's he's figured out this uh the uh, touch free project the founder has figured out that you could use an infrared uh, heat detector and attach that close by and uh, you uh, you know you go close to this as close as possible i think i don't know what the radius or the uh, distance apart from this is and you can measure body temperature that's amazing because now if you measure body temperature, you can actually have a touch-free experience, uh, especially in your business where when people come in, uh, it measures your body temperature and uh, and it also recognizes your face here to see if you're wearing a mask. And if so, it says, yeah, please proceed, right? Um, so that's a great practical use, especially during these times of uh, you know machine learning and uh, uh, artificial intelligence. So top six projects again. Thank you so much. See you soon.